please let me know if you know. I don't know like what the difference is between a cortado versus calling it Cuban coffee, but then there's a cortadito, and I'm really not sure. And I don't know, I think it probably depends on the place you go. Because I, the recipe that I followed, or like the tutorial that I followed to make this coffee today was from a YouTube video. I will link that down below as well. <laughs> You're getting all of the links today. Um, and she called it Cuban coffee, but then like I said, at the Cuban restaurant, they called it a cord cortado. So I don't know, like the difference, I don't know the right terminology to use. I'm calling it Cuban coffee because that's what the girl in the video called it. I don't know. Um, she also did not add any milk to hers, but I tried making this yesterday because I was actually supposed to film this video yesterday and it didn't work out, but I figured I would test out the recipe, you know, just to, to see how it went. And I'm glad I did because yesterday you guys saw like the paste, I call it paste, but the sugar, like in the very, when the, the first drops of espresso, you pour into the sugar and you mix it up until it's kind of whipped. Um, and then you pour the rest of the espresso into that. The, the consistency of that mixture that I made yesterday was way too runny. I think it turned out pretty good today. I mean, again, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anyway, so I could be totally wrong still, but from the video and whatever, I think the paste, like, thing turned out way better today, so that was good, but I didn't pack down the espresso in the mocha pot, like she said to in the video, when I make espresso in my mocha pot normally, I don't pat it down. I did pat it down yesterday, and I thought it was, it low-key tasted like alcohol, but I used a different espresso brand, so I don't know, so I didn't pack it down today because I thought it would be too strong, but then I actually think I should have packed it down today, like, whatever, <laughs> it's a learning process, it still tastes good, like, it's coffee, it still tastes good, um, but I definitely still have a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, and I did add milk to mine because not a ton, but I did add some milk to mine. And here we are. So, that's my long-winded explanation of my coffee, my Cuban coffee journey. speed running. Like, I need to slow it down. Anyway, yeah, if anyone knows <laughs> what the hell I'm talking about, please um, interpret for me in the comments, but yeah. So, um, if you didn't get the vibe of this video yet, I'm just rambling today while we, while we hang out, have our coffee. I would say morning coffee, but it's 2.30 in the afternoon, so it's not really a morning coffee. Okay, I am struggling to have go th coherent thoughts and words right now. <laughs> I'm just like brain dead. I don't know why. Um, but I, re I just um, realized I have not shown you guys my nails. It's been like three weeks since I filmed, which I should have said that in the beginning. I'm sorry, <laughs> long time no see. Life just caught up with me and then, like, boom, before you know it, it's been three weeks. Um, but I am glad to be back now. But I realized I don't think I've shown you guys on YouTube my nails. I, I think I showed Patreon my nails, like, in my most recent video, but 
So I'm really hyped. 
everything to 
you gets lucky every time so far. I mean, I'm sure there's multi- I'm sure there's a ton. 